Kid Stuff friends, my name is Miss Caitlin and this is our friend Pip the Penguin. We are so excited to worship with you guys this morning. Why don't you stand to your feet and let's praise Jesus together. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're going to start by singing, No, I won't be afraid for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. That was great singing, friends. You can go ahead and have a seat. Let's practice saying our memory verse for the month. It's a new one. Say it with me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. Great job, friends. Pip wanted to know if you want to read a story out of his New Beginner's Bible. You do? Awesome. If you have your beginner's Bible, open it up to page 357 with us and let's read our story together. Jesus feeds thousands. Jesus and his disciples were tired. They needed a quiet place to rest. So they got into a boat and pushed off from shore. A crowd followed the boat. Turn the page. Over 5,000 people had come to see Jesus. Even though he was tired, Jesus wanted to help them. He climbed out of the boat and he began to bless and heal many people. Later that day, the disciples said to Jesus, it's getting late. These people should go home and eat dinner. Turn the page. 
Jesus replied, we can feed them. See if anyone has any food to share. The disciples found one boy. He had five loaves of bread and two small fish. Jesus said, bring the boy to me. Turn the page. The disciples asked, how will so little food feed this many people? Jesus said, you will see. Have the people sit down. Then Jesus took the bread and gave thanks to God. His disciples gave bread and fish to everyone. And to their surprise, 12 baskets were left over. That's a great idea, Pip. Pip thinks we should close our eyes and try to imagine or picture in our minds what that might have looked like to have been in the crowd. So let's close our eyes and pretend that we're there. So it was dinner time. So how do you think your tummy would be sounding? It might be growling because it's really hungry. Now picture what your face would be like when you watch Jesus pull out five loaves of bread and two fish. With your eyes still closed, look around you at all the other people in the crowd with you. How might you be feeling now? Because there is definitely not enough food for everyone. Maybe you're feeling sad or disappointed. Great job imagining, friends. You can open your eyes. We know that Jesus can do the impossible, though. So what do you think, Pip? Should we share this week's Bible video with our friends? Great. Let's watch it together. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. The crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Right, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. second? Where did all that extra food come from? They started with five loaves of bread and two fish, and they had 12 baskets of leftovers after 5,000 people ate dinner? Jesus sure can do the impossible. Pip wants to know if you want to sing one more song with us. Great! Stand to your feet and let's sing together. This song we're gonna sing is all about God's love for us. It's called This Love. We're gonna start by singing, oh, we oh, this love, this love. Are you guys ready to do that with me? Okay, hands up. Oh, we oh, this love, this love. Let's do it again. This love. This 
Good job, you guys. Awesome job. It was so much fun getting to learn together today how Jesus can do the impossible. Before we say goodbye, let's pray together. Praying is just like talking to Jesus, like we talk to our best friend. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads to keep us from being distracted and talk to him. Dear Jesus, we praise you that you are powerful and that you can do the impossible. We know we can always count on you. We love you so much. Amen. We hope you join us again next week as we continue worshiping and learning together. See you then. Bye, friends.